Hey guys, it's Kristen from Another Chance Resale, and today we have a different kind of video. Today we're going to be using my new Presidium Gem Tester 2, and we're going to test some, um, some items here, some pieces of jewelry, and see exactly what the stones are. So I already calibrated it, and it's all set to go. Um, I will bring you guys in closer once I am ready to test the items. And um, I guess let's just dive into it. I also have a book here to help us learn a little bit more of which stone it is. Because if you can see each line, it can have three different, two to three, one, two or three different um, options. Okay, so... Um, First, I guess I, I can test, I can show you that it's working. And these are my diamond, oh, if I can grab it, my, di my black diamond studs that I wear every day. So let me bring you guys in closer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press the needle onto the stone and it's going to bring the needle on in the screen up to where it says diamond and probably make a noise that'll scare me <laughs> okay it didn't make the noise but there it goes i think probably because i hit the silver the metal before and it made the noise so let me show you again whoops see sometimes these are so slippery that the it'll slide oops see all right, well, you saw it the first time, so that works. Let me put that back in my ear so I don't lose it as diamond. All right, so some of these pieces that I'm going to be testing, I already have listed in my eBay store, which I can, um, which I will list below. And these are screw, hold on. Okay. Um, so the, they are listed already, which means if they are something different than what I have them listed as, I'm going to update the listing. For example, this necklace I have just listed as a hematite and natural stone necklace. So what we're going to do is we're going to find out what these other stones are. Like, let's say I want to see if this is jade it should bring the needle to where it says jadeite. So I'm wondering if this angle will be okay, but let's just try. Okay, and it is. So I'm wondering if I could bring this, it's plugged in, so, and the plug is over here, so it's kind of hard for me to Maybe I can come more on top like that. Okay, so that one was coming in as jade. Let's try this one. See, I'm not really sure if I would consider it jade or the bottom quartz, amethyst, and citrine. So it's not exactly in the middle of the line and they say it should be in the middle of the line for it to be considered that stone see but that one is really bringing it up so I think I'm comfortable with saying that that is Jade um, okay so let me now move to maybe I would think that this rose color would be rose quartz. So let's see if it brings the needle here to the bottom where it says quartz. It would bring it to the middle of the bar, the black bar. Oops, this, the cord is all curly, so it's like getting in the way. All right, let's try that again. Yeah, so that's bringing it right in the middle of the line for quartz, amethyst, and citrine. 
So I'm comfortable with saying that that would be rose quartz. So now let's go with this orange color, which, I mean, I'm not really sure what that would be. I'm, I'm not really an expert on stones, but I mean, I'm guessing maybe citrine or something. Um, even though, oh, it is on the, on the, on this. Okay. So it would probably, hopefully bring us to the same line, the bottom line for quartz, amethyst, and citrine. Mm, not really. Let's try another piece. Mm, it's bringing it more toward the tourmaline so let's try another one Oop. these pieces are so small and the needle is slippery there we go so yeah that's more of the citrine let's try another one I wonder what, I thought, I didn't think tourmaline was, could be this color, but let's just look. So tourmaline would be on 163. All right, so tourmaline says, yeah, tourmaline is more of like a green Um, and it doesn't say anything about it being like an orange. So I'm going to consider that citrine, which citrine is a type of quartz. Um, so is amethyst. So like, that's why it's all in the same line. So I'm comfortable with saying that that would be citrine. And then let's look at the clear. Let me find kind of a flat piece because this needle is a little tricky. Oh, see? Okay, yeah. Quartz, amethyst, citrine, that bottom line. Okay, see it's still not really showing you exactly, but okay. So I would now go back into my listings and rename this um, you know, necklace, something with uh, natural stones, including citrine, rose quartz, jade, um, and clear quartz. Or you don't even have to say clear quartz, just say quartz, rose quartz, citrine, jade. So that's cool. And the hematite. All right. So next, let's stick with the colored stones. We can look at this. I had just thought this was um, aventurine, aventurine, something like that. All these eans at the end. So I don't think all of this would be jade, but you never know. So we can check this out too. Let's kind of find a flat piece. So that's bringing it right at the quartz, amethyst, and citrine as well. Let's try another piece just to see. Yeah. Okay, so I'm comfortable with saying that this is actually quartz. Yeah. Which makes more sense because quartz is very easy to come by and it's usually made um jewelry is usually made with quartz more often than anything else so let's just try these earrings i don't really think that they are a precious stone or semi-precious stone only because the gold it's not gold it's just gold tone but we can see just because we're playing we can at least see if it's glass or not, which the needle's not even moving, so it is not glass. 
which means it's plastic, which is fine. At least I know in listings I can put um, plastic green cabochon or glass cabochon. Now this I had thought was a blue topaz, which I have listed as such. It has a 925 sterling silver chain, which makes it more, you know, believable that it would be topaz. So if it is, it would bring it to this line up here. Look at that. It's not, oh, it moved the glass line very little. Watch where the needle is. So I would say this is glass. <laughs> Which is fine because I'd rather know that than list it as topaz and somebody buys it and checks it at home and it is not and then I have to get a return. <laughs> okay, so next I have these earrings. I just took out one, but... um. I would like to know if it's glass or even plastic or maybe a precious stone. So let's check it out. Now purple, I would assume it would be amethyst if it is a precious stone or semi-precious stone. So let's see. Wow, it keeps going. So. It went past the ameth amethyst into the jadeite and sp spinel. Well, let's do that again. Nope. Now it's amethyst. Hmm. Okay, let's try another area. See, sometimes it goes way past. So let's look at what spinel is, because I know jadeite would only be green or in the green family. So spinel would be on page 164. Oops, past it. Wait, no, that's not right. 164. Weird, it's not there. <laughs> Let's try 217, no, that's not there either. 97, sorry guys. Maybe it just is mentioning it on all these pages. Um, 73, nope, what the hell? 72. That's weird. All right, I don't know why. Well, I definitely, I do recommend this book, by the way. I just got it. It tells you all of the gems and then like the colors that it can be so it can really help you identify your stones yeah i don't know why it would say it's on those pages when it's not all right i'm going to have to unless i can try this part I don't want to keep you guys sitting here for no reason because that's ridiculous. All right, well, we're just going to have to skip it. I'll try one more place. Oh, wait, yeah, here it is. So weird. Sorry. All right, so spinel. So right here, it could be red, brown, or black, sometimes green or blue. So that's, that's a dub, no. So it's not spinel or jadeite, so I just think it is the amethyst. Let's see one more time. Yeah, 
So I am comfortable saying that they that these earrings are amethyst. Cool. So let's try something else. Um, I have this ring I found in a lot. I am not not really saying that they're diamonds because I don't see any type of you know marking that it's 925. I didn't test the metal. But let's just see what happens. Let's try the big guy in the middle. No. So I would say that that would be glass. Let me see if I can get one of these little guys on the end. Yeah. Oop. I would say that these are glass as well. Because it's moving the glass but not very much so okay that's fine next i have these earrings a little marcasite and a little stone at the bottom so let's see if maybe these come up as a ruby you guys see oh that's nothing so I don't even know if I would consider that glass. Cause, oh yeah, I guess, because it is moving the glass line, but not very much. But when it wasn't glass, like those cabochons, it didn't move it at all. So I guess I could, yeah, I guess I can say that this is just a glass piece. That's fine. All right, what's next? Oh, let's do this big mama. Um. I have no idea what this could be, but I figured maybe we can find out. I don't think it's jade, but that would be pretty cool. So let's try this part. So it's going in the dead center of the quartz, amethyst, and citrine. So I would probably have to say that this is quartz. Yeah, and quartz can come in any color, and it can also be dyed, so even if they had like a colorless quartz, they could dye it this green. So I'm comfortable with saying that that is quartz. All right, so now we have this one, and I think I just have one more after that. So this is a little pendant with cute little wire wrapping. It's kind of got like a clear and pink tone to it. So let's see what this would say. All right, so I would think that's right in the middle of tanzanite and aqua. Let's see. Let's try a different spot. Hmm. Yeah, so tanzanite or aqua, but I don't think it'd be aqua because that's definitely blue, like aquamarine. But now it's kind of in the chrysophase, emerald, and nephrite. So let's see if any of those can be that color. So let's go back to the tanzanite, because be damned if I remember. Um, tanzanite. Hmm. I don't know why they say things are a certain page number and then they're not there. <laughs> Weird. All right, and then let's look at chrysophrase. 
And then I look like a big dummy. C-H. So they're saying that that's on um, page 201. Oh, they're actually right with that one. Okay. So Crystal Freeze says that it could be yellowish green to apple green. All right, so it's not that. I don't think it's an emerald because emerald is green. Um, nephrite, on the other hand. Let's look at what that is. So it's saying it's page 174. Nope, it is not there. See, it's jadeite, which I think it is a type of jade. So let's just look on the another page. So 176. Yeah, here. So nephrite would be a green, white, yellow, brown, or black. I do not think that that is that either. So then, I have to find tanzanite because I don't know why it's not giving me the right page number. And you guys are probably screaming at the screen telling me what it is. And it's saying it's on page 73, but why don't I see it? So weird. So, I would really like to know what it is. 151 or 41. 41 is definitely not it. Why is it doing, why is it doing? Okay, I'm definitely going to have to edit that a little bit because I'm an idiot. It said page 151 and I'm looking at this saying that's not tanzanite. However, it's saying various shapes and cuts of tanzanite gems and it's saying that the blue variety is called tanzanite. <sighs> okay, so it is blue. Tanzanite is blue, but I guess it could also be gray, sometimes pink, pale green, or brown, which this, I think I would say that that is gray or sometimes pink. So let's try this again. Now Tanzanite is eh, right there, so it would bring it to the middle of that line. Yeah, 100%. Okay, now that, now, we, now that we figured that out, let me write that down so I don't forget. Tan Zanite. All right, last but not least, I saved this for last for a reason. This pendant is on a crappy chain. <laughs> So um, this pendant says 925 right on it. So I would hope that these stones are semi-precious or precious stones, being that they're set in a 925 sterling silver. So let's see what it says. Let's test the big boy first. So that I would say is oh is in the direct middle of quartz, amethyst, and citrine. So I would say that that is an amethyst because I know amethyst is purple. Let's try again. Yeah. Yeah, because it's not gonna be. citrine or anything like that because that's orange yeah I'm comfortable with saying that this this big stone is amethyst now we also have a dark stone in the middle and what looks to be diamonds or a light stone on the edge 
so let's see let's do the the dark oh, let's do the darker stones in the center geez louise So that looks like tanzanite or aqua, right? Let's try again. Yeah, but, oh, so actually that makes sense because we had just said that tanzanite could be gray. All right, so that I would say is tanzanite then because it's bringing it right in the middle of that line oops okay now let's try the smaller ones on the edge if I can get the needle to press on it let's see how I'm gonna hold this okay I mean that's going all the way up there so I would say that that Oh, I hit the edge. So I would say that that's a topaz. Let's try again. I, oh, sorry. You guys can't see that. <laughs> it's hard to see, though, because they're so tiny to be in frame. And so you can see this. So let's try again. Oh, that's the middle. Damn it. They're so tiny. Yeah, I, I'm i gonna say that's bringing it to topaz. Jeez. Yeah, I mean, that's clearly topaz. So let's just look in the book. I really am liking this book, guys. So 146, we'll talk about that in a little bit. All right, so this was actually right. So Topaz is saying it could, oh look, colorless. So colorless is the first color. Um, then pale yellow, pale blue, greenish pink. So since these were clear, I am comfortable with saying that that is colorless Topaz. Awesome. So let me write that down. So it was amethyst, right? Colorless topaz and tanzanite, am I right? Because that was the, the page that I couldn't find forever, but it was under a different stone, which I think is, is a little ridiculous. But yeah, gray. Awesome. Also, since this is such a nice pendant, I'm going to go through my bag of um, chains and get a, a nice chain for this. So there we go, guys. And I also want to show you the book in case anyone's interested. I am not sponsoring this or in any way, shape or form. I just found it. I was going to get a different book, actually, but then I was reading the reviews and someone had wrote that this book was better because it was updated and it shows you more information about the stone. So like, for example, it'll tell you how it'll be um, like broken down and like carved and stuff. And it obviously it tells you the different colors and all these different facts about it. It gives you a little history. So I think that's really great. And then in the front, it gives you um, information about like what area of the world each stone is is from and you can find them. I mean, it's awesome. I think I'm gonna sit on the couch after this and read it. So again, this is Gems of the World by Callie Oldershaw. And that was my little testing video of the Presidium Gem, Gem Tester. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a great day. Bye.